Howdy, 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 howdy. How are y'all tonight? I am Eve, who is currently moody with the baby booty. And I have something different going on tonight. As you see, my tabletop is covered in um, plastic. And I have it covered in plastic because I'm going to do an art project. And I decided to do this tonight because my um, I'm embroidering on some hoodies tonight and they're kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. So I decided to take a quick break and hopefully this won't echo. Let me see if this will echo. But I decided to take a quick break and come in and do a project. But I wanted to see if I can pull up the comments. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this won't echo. Make sure it's turned. Oh, okay, there we go. All right. Hey, Dimp. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Crappy Leo. Hey, Roxanne. So, y'all, we're going to do something different. I normally don't um, do anything with art. I'm not really an artist. Uh, well, I don't want to say that because there's different versions of being an artist. So, let's see if I can't set this up here. A little more friendly. Um, it's not one to sit up there. I don't have anything rubbery that I can think of to put right there. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I do. Whoops, sorry. Taking you out for a brief ride. All right. There we go. Come through. Scrap block. Okay. So I'm probably going to have to um, figure out a way to turn this thing down or whatever. I don't know how to mute certain things or whatever because I tried to turn it down and it did not work. Let's see. Audio. It won't let me change it. Oh, yeah, it will. Echo cancellation is on. Automatically adjust mic volume. Try starting. Okay. We ain't gonna worry about that. Okay. Alrighty. So I wanted to show you guys that I found a really, really, really cool um, art project on YouTube. And I know at some point when 755 media sees this, she's going to be a little bit proud um, of my artwork. <laughs> it's not going to be anything in comparison to her artwork, but it's still pretty. I, I thought it was pretty anyway. So I have, um, let me know if it's echoing too bad as well, and I'll try and figure something else out. But I have um, some canvases, a five pack of canvases that I've had for a long time. As you see, there's some water damage on there. They've been downstairs in the basement. And hey, Desi. Hey, Sharon Davenport. Hey, Cassie Chatmon. Hey, Judy Jacobs. Hey, Clara. Hey, Heather Johnson. What in the 755 is going on here? We doing some 755. That's still 755. I'm channeling you tonight. You and your energy and your pizzazz. We're going to do some artwork um, because I saw, I was inspired by a video that I saw on YouTube and I want to try it. So I figured what better way than to try it with you guys and let you see, you know, my version of art because this one was like so crazy easy. So that's what I want to do. Um, but I'm going to get started by going on and putting my first, um, this is going to be a pour 
art thing that I saw on you. I meant to link the video in the description. I haven't linked it yet, but I, I definitely will because it was, I saw it and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. And so I wanted to do it. Oh, I need gloves. Um, but I saw the project and because I'm remodeling in my house, I've been remodeling since we moved in, but um, in the guest bathroom, since my daughter moved out, it was her bathroom, but it's a guest bathroom now. Um, the colors in there are like a blue, ocean blue, teal, you know, theme. As a matter of fact, the shower curtain is like an underwater scene with turtles and whatnot on it. So, um, what I what I wanted to do was in the hallway right outside the bathroom. Um, there's a fresh coat of paint in that hallway, and there's it's a pretty decent square area about like a I don't know maybe a five by five little square area right there outside the bathroom, and the wall space is blank. So I was gonna put up a mirror. But when I saw this art project on YouTube, I was like, okay, I want that. So that's what we're doing um, on our channel. So the first thing I want to do is elevate this up off the mat because this is a poor um, art project. So I'm going to put some, um, fortunately, here's the colors that I wanted to do. This is like a lavender. Y'all know I love my purples. So this is a lavender, a darker purple, um, a, a teal blue, and then like a really dark kind of violet blue. And here, more like a cobalt blue. And they have lids on these. I'm going to use the lids to help elevate this up off the thing. So I went in Hobby Lobby today to find some shirts for um, something I needed to do today. And... They didn't have the shirts and so i got frustrated and started looking at other things and then i remembered that i saw that video and i wanted to try it so i went and got um the paints oh these aren't lids these are cups so that you can pour with them but i'm not going to use these to pour i'm just going to pour right out the bottle okay so here are the colors again um and then in addition to these colors i have the white and then I have um, another white, a bronze, a silver, and a gold. So I do want to put, I'm, I'm torn between these. I think the bronze is what I'm going to use. So um, at any rate, I decided to stop and um, just do an art project because I think of 755 all the time and I watch her doing her, her paintings and you know, I, I wasn't blessed with the gift of being able to look at a picture and reproduce it, but this one looks like it's going to be pretty cool. So again, let me know if there's a horrible echo or whatever, because I can hear myself on that phone. I'm hoping it doesn't echo. All right, so... Yeah, I think that bronze. We may throw in a little bit of lighter gold too, just for the heck of it. Or should I do light gold? I may just do this lighter gold. I don't know. We'll see. I'm feeling artsy. All right, so I'm going to use these cups to hold my canvas up. No echo yet? Okay, cool. Thank you. Miss Beckham, I'm, I'm sorry you're not feeling your best, but I'm glad you're in here with us. This is cool. The art booty. <laughs> oh my gosh, paint pour is fun. Well, I haven't tried it yet. This is my first time. Um, like I said, I saw a video on um, YouTube and it inspired me. So I'm just like, you know what? It was so pretty, y'all. I was like, I have to have that in my hallway but i think i'm gonna try a little twist if i can find my glitter i don't want to use rhinestones but i want to see if i can add like a glitter element here and there but for right now i'm just gonna do um i'm just gonna do this okay so all i'm doing is putting the cups putting the cups down and i'm gonna put the 
this on top. All right, I'm gonna try and get them out to the corners. And what I actually need to move it over some, I think, because I'm gonna have to start over here because I'm right-handed, so it'll be easier. All right, so it's just a poor painting, y'all. That's it. I'm not out here trying to change the world. It's cool to do something different every so often. And this is something that I think is going to be super fun. And that's why I called it a mental break because the machine was getting on my nerves. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to do something I want to do. And so that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to start with a white base and I'm going to make it kind of thick. Um, and she suggested to use um, my next step, but I'm going to do a spatula instead. So, grab. Um, Okay. I'm just going to use one of my resin spatulas that I haven't actually used yet. And I'm going to coat this. Not sure if this is the right way to do it. And uh, Star 55, you had said something in one of your other lives about wetting the canvas. And I heard you, but I didn't fully understand, you know, what you were saying. And so. I'll ask you about it after a while and you can let me know what I need to do. If I should have wet this first for a pour or not. Oh, so get the five look. They even got me some paint brushes. I don't know. I mean, I was I don't know why I was feeling it. I was I was feeling it. When I saw them, I was like, I want those. And so I got them. So I don't know. Who knows? I may turn into a is it Da Vinci? Did he do art? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who did art. This doesn't seem to be doing what I oh there we go. There we go. A long way instead of scraping. So I don't know what y'all were up to tonight. And you know, when I'm doing something that I think is fun, I like to share. So that's why I'm on here tonight. I've had to stop dealing with rhinestone stuff for a little bit to get this order worked on. And I've been working on this order all afternoon. Well, now evening. And so when my bobbin kept breaking and getting on my nerves, I said, you know what? It's time to change scenery. And it was a toss up between doing the pour art and doing a, um, a reupholstering a bench that's going to be right in that hallway as well. So I have, um, a bench that I'm going to reupholster. You know what I'm feeling? I'm going to tell y'all what I'm feeling. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm feeling. I think I'm just going to use my hands because that little spatula wasn't getting it. And I have a, a larger paint brush, but I don't want to, I don't know, I'm just not feeling paint. I just want to get this smooth on there so that I can get to my next step. Good night, Jesse. Cricket gave me headaches. So I've been on the resin for almost two weeks straight now. Hello. Uh -huh. And see, I also worked with the silhouette today. Um, I did manage to, with folks' help in um, Patrice's live, I managed to get my silhouette to cut like I wanted it to, but not like I wanted it to. I don't know. I got it to cut. That's what I wanted, but it didn't cut in the right place it was all registration so and i don't know how the print and cut works with the 
silhouette. So I was just like, you know what? Whatever. Because my print and cut does not work with the Cricut. My Cricut print and cut feature is broken. I've never been able to get that to work. So. I was using the silhouette today. So we did get some silhouette love in the house. Hey, me creatively by Kim. Sorry, I hadn't said hey too much to anybody else. I know I ain't going to touch the phone too much because of this paint. I don't want to get paint on the phone, even though I just put my glove in it. But. but in that video, she had this first layer pretty thick. So that's pretty much what I'm going for. It's a thick layer. It doesn't have to be smooth or anything because of us mixing this other paint here in a sec. Alright. So... So I've decided to bring y'all something different. And for those of you who um, are joining us, mostly everybody knows about the rhinestone buy-in, but if you don't know, um, there is a link in the description. And if you want more information, want to sign up for the newsletter, um, I will have a newsletter going out first thing in the morning. So, we'll have somewhat of an update. All right, see. Let me grab a paper towel. And then, what we'll do is we will start with the other colors, even though that's still wet. Doesn't matter. That was the 17th thumbs up. Haven't refreshed yet. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. So I don't know if you've ever had one of those days where you needed a mental health day. That's today. All right. So let me put this lid on and now we will start with this darker i am going to go ahead and use this but i'm going to do some highlights with that gold let's see let's probably pick up what's the face on it and it is it's pretty So this is basically going to be like a flower picture. And from what I understand, because it's poor, it can just like get anywhere and everywhere. It's not that big of a deal. So that's pretty neat to learn. Um, let us start with purple. Actually, I should start with the blue. Hey, Kathleen D. Hey, D. I want cricket and bells. Oh, when I saw this, I thought it was so pretty the way she did it. So, let's see. Mine probably isn't going to be as pretty, but it's all right. It's got my colors in it. <laughs> I don't care. Use this 
That's good. guy now. Yeah, no, the uh, wire and balls. I'm hoping it's going to be as pretty as hers was. I think it will, but so the cool thing about this is she suggested to get the flower to work by using a hair dryer. So she was like, just turn it on and blow everything out from the corner to make your flower. So y'all, I hope this works like hers did. <laughs> I hope I put enough paint, but we'll see here in a minute. So As you see, mine isn't as pretty as hers was, but she was like, even if you're not happy, just go ahead and put more in the area. And my hair dryer probably isn't as strong as hers. So we'll see y'all. Look, I'm trying. <laughs> and for me, it's just more the colors than anything. Actually, this one. Hopefully it won't be ugly. <laughs> and I'll be like, man, I can't. Like I said, I'm not an artist. So we'll see. We will see. Watch your ears. Oh, sorry. Sorry if I'm too loud with the uh, dryer. Oh, you know what? I can mute it, huh? I'm looking at this in the camera and looking at this on the table and it looked like a hot food mess. <laughs> oh my God. It does not look anything like hers. And nine times out of 10, like I said, it's because this dryer is not like, it's not a, um, this is supposed to be one of those diffusing type dryers. So, but it's all, all I had at the moment. So, Oh, let me see something.
I'm going to try something. Just pour a bunch of paint on it. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. I swear I'm not. Look, and that just messed it up. I thought it was going to. So I'm going to do more um, colors. Not more colors. What am I trying to say? I'm going to do it again, pour again, but hopefully with me stretching it out over the canvas, it'll help it push out more. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying, trying something. I don't paint. I don't draw. I don't do any of that stuff. So I don't know what the ham sandwich I was doing anyways. But one of the things I noticed that people like with the pour with the pour method, they like to um Make it look like there's cells and stuff in it, and I'm not a fan of that at all because it's a textured look that I don't care for. So, let's try this again. Hey, did Don DIY flavor shake? Even making a background for me. I'm making a um mess. That's what I'm making. She said, the lady said it didn't take a whole lot of paint, but apparently mine does. See how it looks like sales or something, she said. So, I'm going to try a different color combination. I'm going to go darker first and then we'll work our way lighter. Oh, I didn't even use this the last time. Don't judge me, y'all. I'm trying. We're going to go bigger this time to see if that makes a difference. I'm determined to get this flower look like she, even though it's, like I said, the Paint didn't squish out at the end like hers did. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or different. And worst case scenario, I just use up a whole bunch of paint that I just. Did <laughs> I got her one probably Worst case scenario. It helps the paint to run more when more paint is added. Now that you brush it, pull more like you did at first. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping anyways. That's what I'm hoping for. like no. Uh oh, I got paint on the darn drop. Oh well. Let's try this again. Oh, let me mute.
starting to look a little bit closer to what I was going for. Not 100% quite, but closer. So I'm going to add some more paint. Hello, Tanya. Especially this teal. I really want this teal out here. This teal goes with that whole thing back yonder. You know what? We're going to throw in some white just because I want to. about to say what my mind was just now saying. Hold on. There we go. Y'all, this is hideous. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all gonna make me find this lady and fight her because this is not turning out the way I thought it was going to, but it's all right. <laughs> Hilarious. And she was like, just put you some streaks. Look, that ain't no streak. She lied. <laughs> oh my God. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm gonna leave art right, this way <laughs> Oh, my God. Look, I got four more canvases. Does anybody want a canvas for sale? <laughs> <laughs> oh lord help me y'all look she said now nah, i need to get a blow dryer and some paint no it's not ej's book <laughs> blow in that blue i'm gonna blow it in that's what i did it won't go no further <laughs> oh lord help me i am not feeling this at all and it's okay it was in the tent and I tried. That looks no way. Don't be tripping. <laughs> I do deserve art, but not my own, apparently. <laughs> oh my God, that is hilarious. <laughs> my grandson will probably do a better job than me on this darn thing, y'all. That is crazy. Yeah, no, I'm not feeling it <laughs> at all in the least little bit, but it'll be all right. This will go. Look, I'll show you one that I did do. Um, probably about three years ago. Now.
I went to a festival and did this one. And because <laughs> because I know it looks crazy, I, I hang I hung this in my hallway going to my bedroom, but I was like, Lord, what was I thinking? So I painted this one, but that was like I said about three years ago now, I think. I didn't even write the date on it, I should have. So that's about the best I can do, some swirls and stuff. <laughs> Jesus. Do some finger paint. I know, right? Let's do some finger paint. We go back to my kindergarten days. Do some finger paint. That looks freaky. That is crazy how that bringing the white out behind it. <laughs> Imagine having your face. <laughs> Child, whatever. It would make a nice um because it has texture though. So like when this dries, it'll be thick and you know what I'm saying? It'll be like 3D type situation. So that's pretty snazzy, I guess. Y'all, this is crazy. Y'all kill me. <laughs> Oh my God, I cannot believe this hot food mess y'all got me into. Well, I got myself into it actually because I'm the one that came on here. So anyway, I just wasted a bunch of paint from Michael's. I mean, not Michael's, Hobby Lobby. And um, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Hold on, we finna, we finna be art for real. Okay, so what am I gonna do with this? I need to put this somewhere because it's dripping. And I don't need this dripping. Just like a face in the lower right and an afro. I guess it does. Let me look at it like this. And paint E ver e word. Let me see. I can set this where. Paint on y'all. Okay, I know where I can sit. We won't get paint on my floor. Lord, oh, look at this paint mess. OMG. I'm going to clean. Well, no, I don't think that's why I put the plastic now. Anything about it like that. All right. 755. Is this what I'm going to have to go through to be an artist? Disappointing myself. We're going to try again, but I'm going to do something different this time. And I don't know how well this is gonna work because my big paintbrush is jacked up now. Hey, Carmen. Oh, well. Just say eight five bucks in the hobby lobby disrespectful. I know that's right. Oh, ew. Well, yes, that's sorry. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Accidental, accidental pretty. Oh, 755. What did you say I was supposed to do to the canvas first? Didn't you say something about wetting it down? Is that what I'm supposed to do? 755, whatever. I ain't selling that mess. If you can find it in my garbage can Monday, then you can have it. <laughs> Oh my God. Wait a minute. No, for real though. Am I supposed to wet this thing down? But then I'm supposed to let it dry too, right? If I'm remember what you said correctly. 
Or do it even matter? It may not matter. Shoot. The police are outside. There's been a shooting on my quiet street. Oh, no. Be careful. Keep me updated. Let me know how it's going later. Make sure you're okay. Dang, I know. Do I have what? Spray bottles and stuff. Here. We will spray it anyways. I think that's what you said. I want to make sure I do it the artistic way. Even though I got water damage on it already. No, don't wet it. Put a lot of white on it. Oh, my bad. I don't wet it. Well, cool thing is, I got paper towels right here, so let's soak some of that water off. Ooh, probably wasn't even supposed to rub paper towel on. <laughs> I'm batting a thousand tonight. Hilarious. Hilarious. If you are brush painting lightly with the back of the camera, oh, duh. I was just all kind of the wrong, wasn't I? All right. I don't know how this is going to work because my paintbrush is dirty and I don't want those brushes aren't big enough. So we just don't. Oh, shoot. I don't even see none of the color. I must have did good wiping that thing off. I was about to see some color right there, but I don't care. <laughs> you deserve art, 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 art. It's not mine, 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 mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yo, I swear. Only the only thing that could make this any better word is a glass of something bubbly and I have none of that. <laughs> none of it here. So I'm just gonna have to all right. Tell this was a darn cheap brush from Hobby Lobby because they the the things are coming out of it. And you know what? 755, I'm gonna tell you something funny else, something else funny. I was um when I was looking at the paint brushes, I saw they had the hog's hair brushes and then they had the squirrel hair brushes, and I took a picture just for you, and I was gonna send it to you and tell you it was some naked squirrels out here, and I forgot to send it. I forgot to send it. And you know what? I can take my time and paint because my honey is out of town until well, he should be headed back by now. And if he probably got the notification that I went live and he probably fussing because he probably knows that I didn't finish those sweatshirts. Okay, so. I still want a flower. Even though the thing in the thingy is under water. Actually, the theme in the bathroom is underwater. So, that being the case, what we may do is not do a flower. And just do something abstract. <laughs> she said, "My laugh is contagious." What should you do when I try to sign up, letter, and buy in? It won't let me. Um, your white base needs to be thinner. Okay, I'll keep playing with it. Um, 
What do you mean it won't let you, my dear? Because the newsletter is right now. The only thing you can sign up for, let me look and see who are you. Shirley Scott. Okay, so right now, the only thing you can sign up for is the newsletter, uh, which another newsletter is going out uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, actually. Um, as long as I can not be still in here painting. Um, and then when the newsletter goes out, all it is, it's going to give you one more update. It's going to tell you guys the colors and the prices. That's it. Um, and another couple of things that I need to go over. And then the actual buy-in is not until the um, Sunday night. So you can't buy in right now. You could if you were... Um, if you join this channel as a member, not a subscriber, but a member, um, then you could have, um, what am I trying to say? You could have been able to get in on the buy-in early, but had early access. That's what I was trying to say. You could have had early access if you were a member here on the channel, but um, paid members got early access last week. So... And even though they had early access, they still, you know, everybody's money is going to be turned in on the um, third or the fourth, technically, on the fourth. So, mm, you know what? I'm going to do what I was trying to do earlier, but I'm going to do it differently. And we going to see how this is going to turn out. I think <laughs> we'll see y'all. Oh, you know what? Need some flow throw in that paint up. Do I have that? I know what you're talking about. I think I have some. You know what? If it was then it probably would have run some more. Hold on a second. Let me see. Well, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I don't know where it is. I used to have some, but I did find some more paintbrushes. <laughs> I don't know what good they're going to do, but no, I don't have any. Because um, it's, it's in a uh, white bottle with the orange paintbrush on it, and it says flow, flow whatever, flow, flow control or whatever. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, whatever. 
don't keep going over the same place. It makes your paint muddy. Add more white to lighten it up. I mean, it'll need to dry first, won't it? I mean, I can help it dry with this thing. Hold on. Yeah, that ain't gonna work fast enough. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to do. Yes, that's it. Oh, okay. Nice abstract. I know, right? Look, that was just that masterpiece already. Look, it's a masterpiece, y'all. I could probably sell this for about forty-three thousand dollars. Just this right here. I can feel it in my spirit. Actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I don't figure it out what I'm going to do. Man, so I don't have this crazy mess on your money mentions. They're going to be like coming to look at this and, and be horrified. Oh my God. And she said she knows how she didn't know. I never said I know how to do art. And I said I deserve art, but <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be trash. <laughs> Get my husband now. He's gonna be like, "What in the tarnation?" I know that's what I'm trying to do. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if it's going to work or not. That's what we're going for. 
I'm going to do this up here, but then I'm going to stop when I get down here. Since it's supposed to be ocean. <laughs> oh my God. I'm cold, Daddy. He's going to be like, my dad can grow as well. And my daughter. And they probably going to be like, oh my God, what in the world is she doing? Worry about yourself. Even though I can't tell my daddy that. I'm not going to ever tell my daddy that, but I'm just saying. Me arting, y'all. What? I have this arting a little bit. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. Who knew that y'all could come on the baby's booty and get some some fail art technique? <laughs> Learn what not to do. <laughs> My bad. Since it's hanging in the, or going to hang in the way, I'm going to paint a little bit on the edge. And it was supposed to be a, um, trio so to speak of painting not trio for painting together that's what it was supposed to be but and all of the flowers were supposed to come together and make one gorgeous art projection thingamabobby <laughs> as we see that's not going to happen now all right so I just thought of something hilarious. Something very, very funny. Hey, strength from within.
Y'all thought it was crazy before. Watch me now. <laughs> I have more tricks up my artistic sleeve to hopefully achieve the look that I've been going for. Because apparently this ain't going. Oh, I didn't use any of my lavender. I'm like, something, some color is missing. <clears throat> Yikes. Man, let me do that. This is probably going to be a hot food mess too, but I don't care. Up to the point, I was going for something, but it ain't quite getting the way I want. All right. Here's an art technique. Um that will automatically make this painting worth um, upwards of $150,000 because this is a rare art technique that you've never seen before, um, ever done, and you're going to get to see it live and in person right now. Um, as before, we were doing, you know, a pour, and then we blew it out with the hair dryer. But we're going to bump this up to a whole nother level. And we're going to use my garden blower. And we're going to have some fun. And there we have a hundred and fifty thousand dollar artistic masterpiece. Thank you. You're welcome. Y'all have a good day. We will see you the next time here on Art Masterpiece Three Thousand. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't rap tight, but you gotta admit it did what I needed it to do, didn't it? Darn sure did. And you ain't ever seen that done before. Ever. Because I love my tools just as much as I love my embroidery. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. See, all I needed was more air. I probably can do my darn flower now. That actually worked out better than I expected it to. Look, y'all, it's 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 art. Okay. So and then it's got some texture to it too. So that's gonna be pretty nifty. Don't know that I will put this in the hallway, but the oh my god, y'all! I did blow paint everywhere. I knew I would. Hilarious! So much for the red silhouette. It's now red and blue. All right, but yes, here we have our artistic stuff. I'm actually kind of pleased with that. Kind of please, kind of please.
Bob Ross. <laughs> That's funny. That was kind of, I don't, I don't know why I didn't think to use that because the blow, my hair dryer weren't, you know what? I want to try to up paint that I wanted to do to begin with because it, y'all, it really was pretty. Like she did her little fizzle with that painting. And I really want to capture that just to see. I mean, I, I figure I can do it, but I just want to see if I can do it. And now I don't know where I'm going to put this because I don't put that in there on that plastic. Now I don't have a little plastic. Um, let me see. Y'all, I'm sitting here doing this and I really, really need to finish these stupid. What's the faces? Now know where this is going to live briefly until it's dry. Say goodbye to the hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you guys. And when that hundred and fifty thousand comes through, I'll share it with you. And while we we might as well use up these canvases. More canvas. More canvas. More canvas. Are your paints mixed for pouring? Yes. Hey, Lena. So these are called pre-mixed pouring acrylic. Got them from our dear friends over at Hobby of the Lobby. And I'm going to do something unconventional and I'm going to put this stabilizer right there so that I won't blow no more paint on my darn silhouette. Okay, so I'm going to try her thing again because that was, I, I promise y'all, it was very pretty. And I want to see that come to life from my own hands, even though I was about to use up my darn paint. What else over here? I got silver and white. Oh, wait a minute. Let's start with white. So. And I'm going to use most of this stuff up because <laughs> when am I going to do this again? Don't know. Probably never. I am blowing everything all over. This is crazy. This thing is too strong. Shoot. Well, well. Well, whatever. Yeah, it's on that box selection. I'm hiding now, my bad. Oh my okay, this is too strong. Let's go back to the hair dryer.
Nope, I wasn't signing off. I was just getting started. Kind of. I need to sign off, y'all, because I really, really got crap I need to be doing. But. but guess what? For now, I'm having fun. And fun is more important to her. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna title this video "Master Mas Master Painting with with Cobalt Blower" and make Cobalt all their blowers sell out. <laughs> and look, and I didn't even go get the big one. I got the great big one downstairs, the uh, one for the leaves and stuff. That's downstairs. That little bitty one is mine for. Um, for when I do my leaves off the porch and stuff like that, I wanted to be able to have a small blower for my own purposes. So I bought that little teeny one. It's called a shop blower, and uh, it's just hilarious that it work. It's working absolutely perfectly for this purpose. I have to shout out Cobalt and my artistic my amateur artistic endeavors that are turning out to be 100,000 air endeavors. I wanted to smooth that out um, before, I, before I blew it again so that it'll move a little bit better. <laughs> Oh my God, y'all, I just blew paint all over my silhouette. Mr. Baby's booty is gonna kill me. All right, so this part is kind of done except for where I smeared it right there. And then, yeah, he gonna, he gonna, well, that blower is mine, but he gonna have a whole bit because I don't got paint on my silhouette. Whoops. And I wasn't wasn't supposed to. All right, let's try this again. My goodness, why? Okay, so we gonna go. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do. And it could just be my color choices that are like fail. Thank you. 
All right, let's see if we can't make this make this happen. Oh, wait a minute. I'm only doing that because she did it with hers, and hers was pretty. All right, let's try this again. Oh, wait I'm not impressed, but I wish I had more of that blue and it grayed up. I don't know how or why. I ain't worried about it though. And it's hard for me to see because I don't got paint on my phone. Mr. Booty gonna have a fit about that too. And I probably could add a little more something right here and blow it in and make it blend a little bit more, especially with the purple. I don't know. I don't know. Especially this, this teal. Like, I want more teal up in this area. So it's just like, you know, how to make this into what I want it to be. And nine times out of ten, I'm ruining it right now, but it's all, it's all right. It's okay. It's my painting anyway. All right, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. All right. Oh my god. I just messed up something I wasn't supposed to mess up. Okay. I'm not feeling it. Could be worse, but I'm not feeling it. And above all of that, I done made a big, huge mess. I got paint on my bulletin board. I got paint on my phone. Paint all this wet. Paint on my bling jar right there. You know, I got paint everywhere. So I made a whole big old huge mess. And it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to. But it was an experience and I learned and I realized that art still ain't my calling. So we gonna leave this alone. All right, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this because now I, I, don't, I definitely ran out of plastic places to put wet paintings. So I gotta figure that out. Good night, precious creations. Put a cardboard box in front of your work. I, it's too late for that now. I mean, I should have because it's some hanging down from the table right here. I should have pulled it more up that way if I had known it was going, but I had the dryer and it was it. Anyway, live and learn. I won't be doing this again. I don't think. So it'll be all right for the next time. I I probably drip more paint and blow more paint to Kingdom Come than I did putting on the paint. Probably. So, but again, it was a learning experience. And um, yeah, art ain't my calling. I do like the fact that it'll be textured, you know, and I could have blended it in with the air a little bit more if I wasn't so aggravated with the mess I have made because I don't bloated it all over the place. I don't even want to do it anymore. 
So had I not done that, I probably could finish this up and do some more stuff with it. So I'm going to link the video that I was going for in the description and y'all can check her out. The video is all of, I want to say like seven or eight minutes. It ain't very long. That should have clued me in too that she was making it easier, look easier than what it actually was. But yeah, I'm going to find someplace plastic to put this and then I'll be right back. All right, masterpiece. Say goodbye to the people. Bye bye. Hopefully, I won't drip this like I did the last one. Time for you to clean up my mess, and I done got paint on one of the hoodies I was supposed to be embroidering, so that sucks. I'm gonna have to replace the hoodie. Messing around, being silly, but it happens. And hopefully, you learned something in this artistic endeavor. Even if you didn't learn anything, but the baby's booty is not an artist. If that's the only thing you learned, that was a good lesson to learn tonight. So, um, I got paint everywhere. Oh my God. This is crazy. Yeah, paint everywhere. Um, some used pouring acrylic for sale. <laughs> I don't want this mess. Um, you know what? Oh, well, I'll put this, you know, paint on it. So I'm gonna set it over here. Oops, sorry. We'll see that. Get that. Get that. Let's paint every darn bit. Oh shoot, I was supposed to plug up my tablet. Did there paint all on the bottom? Oh no, my tablet just died. Y'all look, uh, I don't, it, it's all on my phone. Look at, look at my phone. Can you see my phone? See all the paint on my phone? And then, look at my, look at my silhouette. Y'all, this is crazy. And it's not coming off either. It's like it's dried and then it's not coming off. I'm gonna have to figure out what to get this thing paint off. 
I mean, I kind of don't care, but I kind of do care because I had plans for this little bit. And now those plans have, have been drastically altered. At any rate, I can't see the back. The and then we'll go to the chat and then I'll sign off and let you beautiful people go to bed because it is 12 30 my time and I need to call Mr. Baby's booty and um take these gloves off and let him know that I am still awake. Ouch. Oh hold on, sorry. Sorry, I gotta get these gloves off. I don't put paint more places that paint don't need to be. All right. <sighs> well, we are back and um, it was fun. Oh, well, at least I didn't get paint on the lens of the camera so that y'all could see everything. Um, good. So, yeah, that was hilarious. Uh, let's see. This was so fun. I learned a lot. Yes, you learn to not use a yard blower, a shop blower, to blow your pouring paint. That's what we learned. DIY Cricket and Boss. I mean, I kind of did. It was it was different. It was different Um, because, like I said, oh, snap all over everything. Will alcohol work or some sort of oil? I don't know. I have no earthly glue. Terminator blower fault. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't go get the big boy because had I went and got that, it would have blowed everything the kingdom come. It will come out with some ketone, nail polish, mineral spirits, baby wipes, and damp cloth. We'll get that off. Okay, I got all of that. So we'll start with the weak stuff and go hard, more hardcore. Don't use, yeah, no, don't use leaf blower. That, that wasn't, that was Zena say, I'll take it, girl. You don't want that mess. What so people can be like, what what two year old made that? That's pretty much um, do the outline as suggested. Don't give up. You're doing great. Outline. I have to go back. You got to go back in the chat. Um, not everyone has to go take a test tomorrow. Oh yeah, Clara. Hope you help you do well on your test. She says, take a squeeze bottle and draw the petals and leave it. Oh, I didn't think of that. Different color choices. Yeah, I'm thinking the colors weren't the best. But y'all got to see the one she did, man. It was like she put some colors together and I was like, that ain't what? What? And then when she blew it out, oh my God, it turned out really pretty. It was really pretty. And I was, I was like, I can totally do that. I was wrong. But I was like, I could totally do that. Hey, Lethal Killer, love it. Thank you. If you're still here, thank you. I was um just having fun messing around. I am not a painter nor an artist. Art booty skills. I yeah, I was I was trying. What is the purpose of the white on white though? I don't know. The lady was like, just put white on the um put white in the background is that what you're talking about the background um she was like just do soul to the gentleman in the shades and the trench coat in the bag <laughs> that's about the only person somebody mental um but the uh the lady was like do white base coat and then she came with the brown real similar to the bronze color I had and then she did like this mer dark blood red merlot color and then she did um I forget the other colors she did like some yellow and some um some else some other and oh my god it was gorgeous hold on let me find that darn video I'm gonna link it in the chat and in the um description so that y'all can see it it's by um home talk I think is the name of the um Home talk, yeah. And I was like, come through home talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all really had a heifer thinking she could 
Look, look, look at this. Look at how pretty hers is. Can you see? I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah. Look, look at that. That is gorgeous. Mine didn't look nothing like that. Even though hers is a little bit more runnier than mine, I ain't gonna lie. But see, look. And even when she added some, it didn't look bad. But when the baby's booty got a hold to it, it was straight trash. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to link this so that y'all can go see it. Because like I said, it's four minutes and 24 seconds long video. So it's not very long. And it's neat. Just in case you might want to blow off some steam yourself and do an art project that will turn out, I'm sure, way better than mine. Um. Oh, look, 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 look. See, look, she took the stupid stick and drew stuff. Oh, that's what's wrong. I used a brush. I didn't use a stick. I should have just used a stick. See, that's pretty. Hers turned out real pretty. <sighs> I don't have the art calling. I just don't. I don't have that artistic flair. I just don't. Looks like mixed media. She said it's um and it helps make sales. Okay. Oh, the white is a base and it helps the other paints flow around the canvas. Okay. 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 Hey, Angelia Baker. I'm going to tell them it's over 150K for their two-year-old paint. <laughs> I don't underestimate. It. Oh, and I want to see the video. Yeah, sorry. Here, let me put that uh, paste. Stop speaking and comparing against yourself. I know. Yours needed more white paint. Oh, probably. And next time, I'm going to probably do it outside um, because the leaf blower is battery operated because I think the leaf blower really did do a heck of my like My dryer is a wimpy dryer because, you know, it's wimpy. So it, it, it was okay. But the um, painting, the canvas, if I had it where I could blow it out a little bit better. And because it's, it's variable speed throttle, I can like make it slower than whatever but anyway <sighs> okay i put the link to that video in the chat and then i'm gonna put it in the description oh here we go i couldn't figure out where to put it um art uh poor painting p-o-u-r p-a-i-n t-i-n-g with glow Dryer video. Control V. Painting with cobalt <laughs> leaf blower. <laughs> we need the uh. We need to tag uh, Cobalt in this video. You're like, Cobalt. Come through, Cobalt. Let's see how many views we get on this darn video and see if Cobalt sell out with their leaf blowers. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to do it this way because the first words actually do better in the title than there we go <laughs> Woo. all right Here we go. All right, y'all. This was interesting. So the link to that video is in the description. Um, this had me laughing and tearing up. 
Sorry, Lord E. Wimpy Fry, Rippy Fryer is fine, just losing up the white. Oh, you know what? I guess that would make sense. That would make, I mean, if it was not as thick, then the little wimpy dryer would have worked. So, even though it was still super cool to use the leaf blower, I mean, who would have ever expected a leaf blower? <laughs> Okay, sorry. I'm going to use the leaf blow again. I'm just saying. It got the job done. <laughs> oh, and it painted magazine. Now I have a new custom silhouette now. It's custom. What? What? Ain't nobody got a custom silhouette like me. Uh, all right, y'all. Let me get off of here so I can finish these hoodies and... um. Because I got a whole another order I got to finish tomorrow morning. But I got to go get the shirts for it first because the shirts aren't here. And then on top of that, I got to replace the hoodie because my crazy self got paint on the black of all colors hoodie. Even though I probably already got that size, an extra one. So I'll check and see if I got an extra one first before I replace it. But so I'll probably have to save that hoodie for myself. The Terminator blower, yas. Holler. Holler. So if you ever want to pour paint again, make sure you use the Cobalt Battery Powered Leaf Shop Blower. Battery Powered Shop Blower. It's not leaf blower, it's a shop blower. Because it's, it's made so that the men folks can blow out their shop areas, sawdust, and all of that jazz. That's what technically it's supposed to be for, but I have a shop myself, so I like tools, and I have saws, and um, miter saws, and circular saws, and I have all of that stuff, because I like to try to build things. Now, that I can do. I can I can pretty much follow plans and build stuff, but um, you know, this is fun. <laughs> like I said, you deserve art. It's not my, it's not my art, all right? Not my art, but somebody's art. <laughs> you can go check out 755 Media, please. Go check out 755 Media. And she does absolutely gorgeous art. She is in the chat, so you can kind of like right-click or say her name, do a search for her name on YouTube. If I actually, you know what? Let me link her channel. That's actually the smarter thing to do um and go check out her channel and also please keep in mind that not only does she have an art channel um she also has was the announcement made and i missed it announcement for what 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 announcement my dear i i must have missed it um Was I saying? Oh, check out 755's channel. Um, and I linked it in the chat, but also check out her other channel. So you guys go check out um her new channel, which is just kidding. Just kidding. And I um I have uh subscribed to it, but of course maybe I can't find it. Let's see. Oh, um, 755, where is your channel? Because on her Just Kidding channel, she is going to be painting with the babies. I believe it's Saturday um, at noon. So she's going to, if you have kids, grandbabies, babies, nieces, nephews, young folks. So age kind of like five and up, roughly four or five and up. Um, they can come and sit and watch her channel. They also can buy. I mean, it's a little bit late for this coming Saturday, but you can buy. Um, oh, here it is. You can buy an art kit. She'll send the babies the supplies and stuff that they need for joining in um, and doing art with you. OK. Uh, or with her, rather. No, not, not with you, but with her, because she's the artist. 
I'm not and you probably ain't either, but I'm just saying. So the babies can go and um, do art with her live and they can paint along this this uh, next project is like a Mona Lisa and it's going to show the babies, you know, that they really do got some skills. They got skills. You might be four, but, you know, you might be the Da Vinci. Ain't it Da Vinci? Is he an artist? I hope so. Cause I'm saying his name. I don't. I don't know. But he might be the next artist person. You know what I'm saying? The baby might be. So one thing's for certain. At least if you start them early with 7:55 on her Just Kidding channel, then the children will not grow up and lack artistic skills such as myself. So we want to start the babies out early learning what they need to learn in in the world of art and develop those skills that I have allowed to be dormant all of my life. So please get your babies, send them over, let them sit in front of their little iPads because these chaps got iPads and, and their little cell phones on the video and they can watch and get them some, you know, either construction paper if you can't afford canvas. But I mean, canvas is kind of, you can go Dollar Tree and get canvas now. So don't trip, go get the baby some canvas. Um, Dollar Tree got a little dollar, got a little brushes if you can't get the kit right now. But then, you know, go ahead in the background and order the baby the kit off of Etsy so that the babies can have a real art kit. Because she's gonna send them a real art kit, not that Dollar Tree trash, right? So get the babies some some real paints and some real, but you know, you can get them that Dollar Tree dollar twenty-five stuff for the time being. But then let them go over there with the real kit next time and watch just kid with 755 so they can do the dollar tree painting for right now okay so yeah definitely check out um the just kidding art channel for kids and uh help them babies get a start in life that obviously i did not have all right so you guys have a great night it was fun um i cannot believe this was two hours almost two hours that is crazy so um i'm gonna go and call the mister and finish up fighting with this embroidery machine these embroidery machines they both acting real spank tonight and get them done so that i can take these and drop these off in charlotte tomorrow and then pick up the final order and hopefully get that done early enough and stop stressing out over orders. So, um, and again, dollar twenty-five canvas. I know, but I mean that's better than nothing. You know, construction paper or something. Let's get the baby something. Um. Also, the rhinestone buy-in. If you are subscribed to the newsletter, the newsletter will go out in the morning. Um, and it will show you the colors as well as prices because that's been requested. So we're going to put that in the newsletter. Um, then what we'll do is, um, you know, let you know that the buy-in is two hours away, y'all. Two, it's two hours, geez, Louise. You can tell I'm tired. Two days away. So we have Sunday evening, 930 is when the buy-in opens up. Um, and again, you guys, you know, we got a surprise coming from the hubby. He picked out a really nice surprise that everybody will get that places in order. So I'm excited to debut that. I'm going to try and channel some more 755 skills and make a little teeny commercial about it. Um, and I didn't, hopefully I can pull it off because I know what I won't. I just got to be able to pull it off and, um, and we'll, See you guys on Sunday night. All right. Well, yeah, definitely we'll see y'all. Yeah, Dollar Tree did go up. It's crazy. Dollar twenty five. So, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow on Patrice's channel because I'm sure a lot of y'all follow Patrice. So go check her out. And she's a great artist <laughs> in a different realm somewhere. I sure, I'm sure I am. I'm sure I am. Yeah. I hope they do get to act together because um look 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 at them back there giving me the stank eye both of them both of them stank helpers is just being real ornery 
And I'm like, y'all know we need to make this paper. I don't even know why y'all tripping. Get it together. So yeah. Angelia Baker, you have a good night too. So at any rate, it is a minute 47 seconds. I mean, an hour and 47 minutes. Let me get the heck up out of here because I can't even get my words straight. And I probably need some water and um, talk to my honey and finish cleaning up this mess. I got baby wipes right here. So 755, I'm going to let you know how that works. <laughs> I'm going to let you know how that goes. But I'll send y'all a picture of the silhouette if I can get it cleaned up so that you can see that it worked. If it didn't, then I'm going to send you a picture of a pretty colorful silhouette. So y'all have a good night. I absolutely, I, I mean, I can't say I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it because it was, you know, like I said, it was a learning experience. But I'll, if I do it again, I'll be better prepared with some thinner paints and more white. Okay, so have a good night, y'all. It was fun. So y'all behave. Oh, and if y'all decide to do the poor thing, let me know. Post a picture in the uh, Facebook group. If you're in the Facebook group, post a picture. I would love to see your success story as opposed to mine. <laughs> so anyways, y'all have a good night and we will talk to you later. Bye.